Boys and girls, what's going on with you? BQ here, and it's an Impact Lounge. First timers, please hit that subscribe button. I am back. I am back home in Illinois after uh, five weeks away in Texas. I got the news about Laurel late last night, but I was on the road, and uh, I was on the road a little bit today. Um, so I'm kind of talking about it now. I usually like to jump on it right away. But um, feels good to be home. Feels good to sleep in my own bed tonight, even if that bed means the sofa half the time. All gravity, either way. Glad to be back um, talking Impact Wrestling with you guys. So, oh, I was going to take a little bit of time off the channel, but I got to talk about Laurel Van Ness. It's been reported that she requested her release. She has not been released. She has not been granted a release. It's been reported that she requested it. Squared Circle Sirens was the one, I believe, that initially reported it. They do a really good job covering women's wrestling um, with every company, independence. So they've proven uh, to be fairly reputable. So I have to believe there's some truth to this. And even when the you know dirt sheets say the most asinine shit regarding impact, there's always at least a little bit of truth to it. So I think there is, a, is possibly some truth to this. I don't know any other information currently. I do not contact wrestlers direct, whether it's you know direct or indirectly, like the you know, for example, I don't. I'm not going to contact Sienna and ask her. Uh, contract status is not um, any of my business. Uh, but if there's you know more with the rumor, I can I can confirm or deny certain parts of the rumor. Uh, but right now, you know, I just got back with my family. I really haven't had time to look into this like I I want to. So I I promise um, come Monday. I'm going to dig deeper if there's not more information released already. So the timing is really funny. We've been looking for Laurel's character to progress a little bit. And it finally was. And it was, uh, you know, she, she had the breakup with Grado. It looked like they were going to do something with her. And she was just in the crowd doing silly stuff. And then at Bound for Glory, she got involved. And then they started tweaking it. You know, she's wearing her regular wrestling gear. She won the... Uh, First half of the no half of the knockouts tournament against Casey Spinelli and Madison Rain. But here's the thing: who cares? She won, but who cares? Because now this whole thing happened, and we don't know what's going on with the knockouts. We don't know what's you know it, it throws a big wrench in things. The timing is really really funny. Um, you know, I believe she's Canadian, right? If, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I can't keep track these days with who's Canadian, who's not. But um, I believe she's Canadian. Uh, they're doing a lot of filming in Canada, and she has a prominent role. I don't really get it. Um, I think it was just a couple days ago she tweeted out a picture with Rosemary talking about they're you know determined to make the knockouts division the best women's division in the world, and that was after the tapings. And it's you know reported that she requested her release after the tapings. But here's the real crappy thing about this: it's another cog. Uh, another wrench thrown in, in, in things, not another cog, but another wrench thrown into the mix where it's in the middle of the tapings. Not even the middle. Well, yeah, I guess it is kind of the middle of the tapings. We've had we've had a few episodes so far. Basically, the middle of the tapings. Um, same thing that happened with Loki, happened with Bobby Roode and EY, happened a little bit with the Hardys. Uh, they kind of wrote them off TV pretty, pretty quickly. Um, happened with Galloway a little bit. Um, happened with a few people. And here we are again. To where we got to sit through a set of tapings and watch someone who's who's basically irrelevant to the company going forward, if this is true. So we don't know yet. We, we got to keep our ear to the streets and find out exactly what's going on. But, you know, on the flip side of saying the timing is funny, Ed Norholm says they're going to restructure contracts. Wrestlers can take their gimmicks with them. Laurel can take that mad bride, drunken bride gimmick to NXT if she wanted to. Or WWE. Or Ring of Honor. Or whatever. I have to believe, due to her high-profile relationship with Zack Ryder, that WWE's been in her ear, or she's in theirs. Yeah, I mean, they didn't talk about this a whole lot, but I guess with Rockstar Spud, Impact uh, or Anthem spent twenty thousand dollars to reserve. To, I'm sorry, to reserve to resolve his visa issue, and days after they did it, he requested his release, and within forty-eight hours was um, reported going to Two Hundred Five Live. So, um, company's kind of getting the raw end here a little bit. And there's definitely, there's definitely tampering going on in wrestling. You know, this isn't the NBA where there's, you know, a commissioner over everything and, you know, they can fine a team for talking to another team's player. You know, they can't do that in wrestling. I don't know how legally, I don't know what they could do legally. I don't know if it's worth even looking into, but there's definitely tampering going on. You know, Ring of Honor is obviously the, 
you know the one who's taken the biggest hit in that uh, in that sense. So if this is if this happens, it's unfortunate because it hurts the knockouts division. And we're watching another set of tapings where we don't know what the hell they're going to do going forward. We're going to probably see her on TV. We don't know what's going on. And it freaking sucks. And it makes it look like wrestlers can just leave the company whenever they want. This is what I said in my Taryn Terrell rant, even though, you know, I didn't have the whole story at the time I did it. Um, but it just seems like if a wrestler's like, hey, can I, I, I would like to request my release, release date, they grant it. And I don't know if it's like a financial thing. They're, they're really trying to shed that much salary that they just, okay, here's, here's another opportunity to shed salary, salary. Let's just let him go. I don't get it. Drives me nuts. I'm a big NBA fan. I'm probably, probably bigger than professional wrestling. And there's players all the time who are like, you know, I don't want to be here. They request to be traded or bought out. And more often than not, the team says, I'm sorry to hear that. You're under contract. You're going to play for us. And when you're a free agent, you know, good luck to you. But right now you play for us. Why, why doesn't that happen with Impact? Why isn't it, I'm sorry, you're under contract. Instead, it's like the contract is, is like water. It's weak. They can get right out of it. The, it's it's killing the company right now. In 2017, it's killing them. Having wrestlers show for one set of tapings, two set of tapings, or just disappear out of nowhere. Wrestlers holding titles and then, you know, leaving the company. It's absolutely killing them right now. I will say this about Laurel. I want her to stick around. I really do. I've listened to a lot of interviews of hers, and she's never sounded all in on Impact Wrestling. She talks a shitload about Tough Enough. She talks about WWE and NXT and all that shit. And then she talks about Impact. And, of course, you can't control the questions asked. And we all know a lot of these podcasters ask very leading questions. But she's never sounded all in to me. She sounded like someone who is um, who is here for the time being. But I would have liked to see more of a run. I don't have a problem if a wrestler is here. I don't like when they're here for a pit stop, but I don't mind it at the same time because it depends on what they give to the company. So if they're here for a pit stop, I guess, let's just use that term, I don't care for that. If you're with the company for several years and you've won titles and you've given back, and I get it. You want to move on and try something bigger. I get it. But she hasn't really accomplished anything yet. She's a prominent role. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying she's you know some jobber or something like that. She's, she's a prominent role. She has been since she got there. But... You know, what makes her want to leave all of a sudden? They, you know, they're filming in Canada a whole crap load. So she can go to Canada quite a bit and perform. You know, and she's a very busy wrestler. She travels a lot. She performs a lot. So I don't get it. Um, it's unfortunate. We're going to keep our ear to the streets on this one and see what happens with Laura going forward. Um, if I hear something, I will report it. Uh, I don't like to use that word. I will uh, communicate it to you guys, but I'm not going to ask anybody directly. I just hope it's not true, but I'm pretty sure it probably is very true. It's just awful timing. I don't know if I already said this in the beginning because um, I <laughs> actually recorded this a few times. I kept messing up, but you know, she tweeted not too long ago the picture with Rosemary. I think I did say something about that, about making the division important. So which one is it, Laurel? You want to make the knockout division important, best division in the world, or you just want to leave? Let's keep our ear to the streets, folks. This is BQ. Talk to you soon. Peace.